Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. We are at 2708 Northeast Melody Way here in McMinnville, located at the back of the house. I describe everything as if you're facing the uh, front door from the street or from Northeast Melody. We've got a four inch ABS clean out. We're gonna check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We're gonna have water running here in just a moment. We are zeroed out, off we go. Looks like we're swapping over to, it appears to be, yeah, it looks like cast iron there just immediately upon access. And that looks like once more, appears we are now into four inch concrete pipe. We'll get a nicer view of this on the way out. We've got a pretty high volume amount of water going down the line there, but it looks like ABS, cast iron, then concrete. Might have a uh, yeah. Looks like we might have a root intrusion there. We'll take a second look at that on the way out, and the line's drained. Like another one there. We just went past about thirty-three feet. Another one here at 41. Can't tell if we're hitting a turn the line here or if we're hooking onto a main. I just turned the water off here to let the line start draining, so we it's hard to tell. In McMinnville, they do, they run a lot of main laterals on properties. We're going to push out a little bit further here. That turn there almost looks like we might be wying in, but, or onto another line. It may also just be a turn. We'll see. That right there looks like we are hitting the main lateral. And here pretty quick, the line should be drained off. I already turned the water off here. So we're gonna go locate the camera head really quick here while the line continues to drain. And we'll pull back in, take a look at everything. We've got a few root intrusions throughout the line, uh, throughout the concrete pipe, most specifically. We'll go over those here in a minute. As it sits right now, not seeing a lot of action as it relates to the roots causing issues. I'm, I'm kind of more concerned just in general on the age uh, condition of the concrete combined with the root intrusions. The line just, it's just getting to a, it's getting on the older end here, but we'll revisit that here in just a minute. All right, located the camera head successfully. Line terminates out on uh, 27th here. So if you're standing in the street, facing the front door of this house from Northeast Melody, line shoots out the back of the home, hangs a right hand turn and shoots all the way out to 27th. And it actually, it, it's almost, we're almost up against the curb on the opposite side of the street. So I, I, I paced off hill to toe. You're about 30 paces. Um, that's the full width of the roadway, essentially, that crosses there. And it's always worth checking with the city, but um, generally speaking, at least last time I checked here, the city out is still taking responsibility for the sewer line from at least the street edge out. A lot of towns out in this, this area take responsibility at the right of way, so even further back. And the city had already marked that. I just went over the top of the marking with my green paint just to make it brighter. Um, I had a hard time getting a depth there. At one point, I got about 12 and a half feet deep. Um, the second set of locates I did, I was getting below 15. So it's getting around the, the realm of where my locator starts to cut out. All 
Uh, the nice thing about this line here is it still has good slope and grade to it. Um, the importance of that with the advent of trenchless epoxy, epoxy lining systems, which in this case, you should be able to do it completely trenchless. You've got a four inch access point. Um, anyway, what I'm getting at here with the kind of root intrusions you're, you're dealing with because they're spaced throughout the line, um, it's at least something I'd look into is the trenchless epoxy liner system on this rather than spot repairing the individual pipe joints, which on a newer sewer line would make sense to do on a line of this age. Oh, we do have a tie-in right here. This is what I was wondering. I thought I saw one of these on the way out. So you've got a tie-in right here at 45 feet. So that, that may have actually been a Y connection I saw there a moment ago. Look at that. So this right here may actually be city main. I'm gonna locate and mark this, something I would look into, but this right here from this point forward may actually be city responsibility entirely. It's that or you could have some kind of party line set up, which is also something you wanna look into at the city. Outside of Portland, most cities don't care a whole lot about party lines, um, but it's worth checking into. All right, so the general direction where we're sitting right now, I'll try and point that out with the uh, camera when I pull it out of the, the line here in a moment. Um, at the very back of the kind of RV parking area, very rear of the property line, right there at the fence, you're gonna see a green Y marking. That Y marking actually may need to be just on the other side of the fence. That's more of a reference marking than anything. Um, in fact, I'm gonna pull back and just, just to get on this side of the fence line to get a proper depth, but it's a, it's a tricky spot there with the fence. It's hard to tell if that is just on the other side of the fence, underneath the fence, it's very, very close to it. All right, so I just adjusted the markings a little bit. Um, the Y connection, just keep in mind, is probably about a foot and a half or so beyond the fence line. It's in the bushes where I really can't put much of a marking down. So you'll see the green marking right as the line goes through the fence there, and then the, the Y connection is just on the other side. And you're about six foot two inches deep at that point, right at that fence. And I'm gonna do a couple markings here and there. I would still, before jumping straight to a dig style repair, I would look into the prospect of a liner. Even if your uh, responsibility stops there around the 40, 45 foot mark with that Y connection, it's still worth looking into. The depths you've got here, the fact that it goes under a fence, it may still be more cost effective, certainly more convenient uh, to do the liner, but you kind of have to consult out with the liner company to see which makes the most sense, what'll be more cost effective. The added advantage of the liners is they are essentially a jointless pipe product, so you don't have as many weak points for re-intrusions to occur. All right, we're still on the RV parking area side of the fence, about four foot six inches deep there. Anyway, being that we've gotten throughout the line here, you combine that with the age of the line, this is not one of those scenarios where I would recommend um, piecemealing it out and spot repairing. It would end up likely being more expensive to do it that way to begin with. Um, and if the liner option is going to save money, I'm a big fan of them, I would say go for it. You've got some advantages in helping to prevent further root intrusions, convenience factor of not having to dig. Um, and, and while the line, as this, as this line currently sits right now, the roots are not, haven't grown to the point where they're affecting functionality. Looks like you may have a root intrusion just starting here around 10 feet or 11 feet as well. You've got some nubbins poking out of that joint there. Um, one of the concerns with concrete pipe, especially when roots start plowing through it, the joints wear out. That's about the first thing that goes on concrete pipe. And over time, it often causes hydro erosion. The joints will start allowing groundwater and dirt to seep through. Um, which which will cause the line to settle. So when you have a line like this, it still has good slope and grade. It's a good idea to get ahead of it, um, especially if you're looking at a big cost difference between digging versus lining, to take advantage of the fact the line still has good slope and grade. As we sit right now, the roots are not in, in, impeding the flow line, so we still have, I can't say you don't have good flow here. You still have adequate flow all the way to the main lines functioning in that regard the concern is is how it's going to hold up over time if the roots continue to grow they also prematurely wear the lines out and can cause issues down the road as they worsen about three and a half feet deep we're now in the backyard area
I'm going to push just a little bit past the transition here to get a good locate. Cast iron pipe still in good shape, which it often is. Stuff holds up for forever. All right, about three foot four inches deep here, just past the transition joint. Now those markings are mostly for reference. I didn't. I, I did about three or four markings uh, in the event that digging does make more sense. By and large, this whole section of piping here is under dirt. Um, so sometimes it makes more sense to dig them up. I would look into to all the different repair options. Um, you know, and if your six is on it, if the price point is similar, I would still really heavily recommend or looking into the liner option because of the jointless aspect of it. Um, in my experience, going back to look at some of these lines that often have reintrusions happen, the liners seem to resist it quite nicely because you don't have weak points. So just out from the clean out here, you'll see a marking. The line shoots off through the fence line. Just on the other side of that, that's the back of the RV parking area. You have kind of a, a chicken wire type fence. You'll see a green marking there. That marking is sitting maybe a foot and a half, two feet from the Y connection. So you have to contact the city and find out how responsibility is divvied up in a circumstance like this. I don't know if that's city main um, or if it's some kind of party line that would be split between the neighbors. Anyway, all your root intrusion issues stop prior to the Y connection. So everything past that point is doing just fine. Similar condition, but it also looks like it's a shared line. I'm not going to hammer down too heavily on that stuff as that looks like that's going to be, a, you know, at the, at the least some kind of HOA type thing, but that may very well be city responsibility at that point. Now, what I do recommend an update on here because you've got three obvious root intrusions. There's one or two other joints that look like roots are just starting to come through. Uh, because they're throughout the line, I'd recommend updating the concrete section out to the Y connection. That looks like that's the stuff that would fall solely into this household's responsibility. If uh, no repairs are, are done for some reason, I recommend um, cutting the roots and then re-scoping about a year later. That's to keep an eye on, on how quickly the roots are regenerating and cutting as needed. Be, be aware though, if you do that, I've had this happen a myriad of times over the last 13 years I've been doing this. When you hack roots out of the joints, um, you are obviously opening the lineup, but what you also are doing in many cases is unclogging the pipe joint. Those roots are often clogging the joint and binding everything together. When you cut them loose, you can allow the joint to open up to the ground and allow dirt to flow in much easier. And I have seen these things rapidly progress uh, in just a few years. I had one here just six months ago where they went from a $6,000 liner to a $15,000 repair in the matter of three years. Their line went from perfect slope and grade to, to almost two inches of standing water because they opted to cut the roots rather than um, uh, to just line it at that point in time. So as the line sits, if you think that's gonna be down the road a little ways before it gets updated, right now, because the roots are not affecting functionality, I would hold off on doing that unless you think your update's gonna be pretty soon. Um, I, I'd hate to see you ruin the slope and grade of the line if you're planning on doing a liner at some point in the, in the, in the very near future. Otherwise, I recommend rescoping after any type of repair work is done to check the work. If you do a trench style repair, you wanna do that after the trench is closed to check for any slope issues or any settling.